Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Last time Randy got assaulted from behind by the cowardly world champion and that damn Judas, Chris Jericho. This time we get our revenge on Y2J in a TLC match. We're gonna show that opportunistic leech why you don't mess with the Viper that kills legends with his trusty RKO. Get on down here, Randy. Well, here comes the number one contender for Triple H's title at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. At the moment, he's got his sights set on a little payback against Y2J, Chris Jericho. It's true. If you ask me, he's got more guts than brains, JR. He's going to WrestleMania, yet here he is demanding a rematch with Y2J. And not just any match, a TLC match. Uh, yeah, King. Randy is a lot tougher than maybe even you give him credit for. And here comes Judas. There's that damn sellout, Chris Jericho. I hope he's proud of himself. Let him know, JR. You can't tell me that you'd do anything different if you were in his shoes, JR. You sure about that? Jericho wants to make sure his opponent doesn't show up at WrestleMania in any condition to win the world heavyweight title. Bitch. That's right, King. If Triple H loses the championship, Jericho won't get his title opportunity. And I guarantee you that will very well happen. After WrestleMania, there will be no more Triple H as World Heavyweight Champion. And after tonight, there will be no more Chris Judas, <clears throat> I mean Jericho, ever again. Now come on, let's get this underway. I feel like smashing Y2J. The bell sounds and Randy instantly makes a fool of himself. What? Oh, he got him. He's got a steel chair now. All right, JR, calm down. This is all legal in a TLC match. And I hope you like it because you're going to be seeing more of it. Jericho went to the table, set up in the turnbuckle, and he slammed through it. And here comes the legend killer, dropping that fist. And he follows up the best way you can with those brutal fists to the face. If Randy keeps up this pounding, Jericho's face will look just like a baboon's ass, red, swollen, and ugly as hell. No, he's got the ladder. And he's using it. Beat this man until he's a broken mess. I want to see him picking metal out of his teeth and ass. That table won't help you. Here's some more. And take this too. Great takedown by Randy. Damn it, Jericho with a nut shot. He sure does love him some nuts. Oh shit, someone's grandpa ran into the ring. Ref, get him out of here. I almost missed the Osaka Street Cutter. Hey, Grandpa, get down from there before you hurt yourself. <laughs> Hell yeah, Rick. Put it all in the line. For nothing. Now Randy's got Jericho's head red, and it's hard to focus on that when you got the dude in the red tights on the outside. Now that Randy's got a finisher, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to use it. But you better hurry up, because Rick's in the ring. Wait. Damn it, Jer Jericho knocked down Randy. But Randy's got him from behind. And he drops him on that stack of dimes he calls a neck. Randy goes for the cover. I is this going to work? No, it doesn't. Ric Flair, dude, get out of here. What, what is he even doing at this point? Except pissing me off. <laughs> or making me laugh. I don't know. <laughs> now let's take this home snake man. Randy from behind with a neck breaker. This dude is dangerous from the front and the back. Come on. Ref. He does it. He pins him with a neck breaker. That kind of looked like a reverse RKO, if I'm honest. And it's all right, Christy. We didn't need your good luck this time. Randy was good enough on his own. There you go. Finally, Randy comes out. Okay. I was hoping this would be the turning point. Did anybody see that sign change? What the hell? Oh, not a low blow. Why is Grandpa obsessed with hitting dudes in the nuts? Stop right there. What do you think you're doing, Jericho? First you orchestrate an attack on my number one contender after your match last week. Yeah. And then you double team him here tonight. And for what? A title match against Triple H after WrestleMania? It's true. In case you've forgotten, the coach is the general manager of Raw. Ooh. Interim general manager. You beat me to it, JR. Man, let him flex. And that means the coach calls the shots around here. For now. So Jericho, Flair, 
Get the hell out of my ring before I lose my temper. Oh damn, you don't want that. And believe me, you don't want to be in the ring with the coach when I lose my temper. I, I agree. But they don't look like they do. <laughs> I can't say I'm sorry to see it, but I am sorry to say that it looks like Triple H's henchmen are still running the show here on Raw. What did Coach expect? Talking to two former world champions like that. If you want to order Raw superstars around like that, you'd better be able to back it up. Yeah, because things like this happen to Bischoff. That gives me an idea. What is it? What are you talking about, King? I'll tell you later, JR. But first... I've got to give Mr. McMahon a call. Wait, could this mean he's trying to be the next interim GM? Or does he just want Stacy's phone number? Which, I might add, that's not the way to get it. You gotta come to Randy for that. <laughs> well, we did get our revenge on Judas. But now it looks like Ric Flair needs to learn a lesson. On respect. Now let's start the show. And our good luck charm is here. So, of course, that means we're going to win. We just don't know what kind of match we're going to be in. It's the King and Stacy. And Christy? Okay, Christy. Stacy, let's go through tonight's schedule one more time. First, we've got a bikini contest. Yeah. Followed by a broad panties match. Yeah. And then... There's the Diva Talent Show. Ooh. And the evening gown match. More. And then you two in a pie eating contest. Ah, uh, I don't know about that one. I never thought I'd see it. Jerry the King Lawler as interim general manager of Raw. It's pretty refreshing after coach. Okay, girls. I've got to deal with some serious business here. I'll see you two later tonight. That's right. Randy is serious business. Yeah, look at that sneaky little viper. Easy there, big fella. Okay, Lawler. If you're about done hitting on the divas... Ooh. Hold it right there. First of all, watch your tone. I'm the interim general manager of Raw. Yeah? So you need to respect the position. Now, I'm not a jerk like the coach, but I'm not going to be a pushover like him either. We'll see. Fair enough. But what are you going to do about Triple H, Ric Flair, and Chris Jericho? Give them to us. I've taken about all I'm going to take from them. And if you don't do something about them, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. Looks like he's serious. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. Look, regardless of how I feel about you, you won a title match at the Royal Rumble. And you're going to main event WrestleMania. Hold on, back up. How do you feel about him? I don't like the idea of Ric Flair or Chris Jericho ruining Raw's biggest match of the year. Yeah? So I'm going to give you a chance to do something about it. Oh, yes. I've made a first blood match for you tonight against your choice of either one of them. First blood, huh? So who do you want to take out? I, I mean, take on. No, you had it right the first time. Take out. I think we've already gotten our payback on Jericho. I think now we need to fight Ric Flair. We gotta teach that geriatric slap nut a lesson on respect. And we're gonna do it by forcing him to wear the proverbial crimson mask. All right, this match is official, and I hope Slick Rick is ready to lose some blood. Yeah, Stacy, you should stay back for this one. I don't want you to see what we have to do to this old man. We're going to introduce him to his blood, even though he's seen it many times before. Well, guess who just sat down in the seat next to me? Raw's own interim general manager, Jerry the King Lawler. Welcome back. I didn't expect you to be out here for tonight's main event. Ah. Uh, you know me, JR. I'm not cut out for a desk job. You're at a desk now. Where I'd rather be than behind this announce table. What? Despite the fact that I have to share it with you. Besides, my last act as general manager tonight was to ban all other superstars from ringside. And I want to be able to enforce that if I have to. What you gonna do about it, man? You gonna get your ass up and fight whoever comes down that ramp? I doubt it. Now let's skip this. I'm tired of him already. This is the man we came to see. Well, there's a man who certainly appreciates your efforts tonight. Yeah, we do. Come on, JR. You know I didn't do it for him. I was protecting Raw's main event match at WrestleMania. Man, stop trying to be modest, King. We all know you did it for him. We know exactly how you feel about the Legend Killer. You've got all his merchandise, all his action figures, 
You've even got some framed pictures of him up in your house. Anyways, let's move on. We have to focus on busting the Wu Man wide open and making him bleed his own blood. That should be easy enough. The match starts, and again Randy trips on nothing. Hold on, give him some time to warm up. Just give him a second, or two. Randy thrown into the corner, and now he's getting his chest lit up. Flair is probably a master of strikes, but Randy's seen all the tapes. He's even studied under Ric Flair. He knows that man all too well. Randy goes up, and he drops the knee on him. If Vipers had arms and legs, in a situation like this, they'd be using it, just like he is right now. Which would be scary as hell. Could you imagine an actual snake <laughs> with arms and legs choking you out? <laughs> He's backed into the corner, but not for long. Randy, with a running DDT, takes down the old man. And now we see him get more intense with those punches to the face. Slick Rick now has an orange head. That means it's only a matter of time before we see blood pouring down his face. Well, that would be the case right now, but he's kicking the shit out of Randy. Dude, did you forget how to reverse? Evidently, he did. Because now he's outside. Flair takes off the turnbuckle pad. He might want to be careful doing that because he might run into that turnbuckle face first. Oh no, he's got other plans, and they involve a ring bell. Yeah, Jerry, but Rick is learning to love the taste. And how about you take some more punches, old man? We here at the WWE have no problems beating up old men. Randy stores his finisher and fails to capitalize. Flair reverses, and so does Randy. What are we seeing? It's the very move that put away Jericho last time. Oh, and it's over right now. Let me see that blood. Um, I hope you do know, Tori, that I said blood, not... Never mind. If you want to show those, I guess I can't uh, object. There's the blood. That's all we get, though? It would be so much better if we saw it dyeing his hair red. Hell, even if it was running down the side of his head and pulling on the canvas, that would have been great. But no, all we get is this. Well, I guess we get to see Randy with his arms raised high in victory, so I guess that should be all. There's no need to complain about what we don't have. Let's be happy for what we do have. And this is what happens when you really piss off a viper. You end up laying face down in a pool of your own blood.